Best Box Fantasy Football Show. Glenn Clark, Paul Valley, and most importantly, your lovely and talented host, Mr. Ken Zales. What's going on, buddy? Not much. Very little coffee. Yeah, really, really. There's nothing happening in the world of fantasy football. Not like the entire world got flipped upside down over the course of the last seven days. We'll uh, answer your questions, get them in at Glenn Clark Radio on Twitter, or put them in the comments on the video or on Facebook, and we will pose them to KZ later on in the program. Every seat is the best seat at MT Bank Stadium. Don't miss a moment of Ravens football this season. Single game tickets now available at BaltimoreRavens.com slash tickets. All right, Ken, uh, let's start in Tennessee because on our show we were just talking about how excited you are about Adrian Peterson, which is yeah. beyond it. Um, begin with McNichols, Peterson. W- w- what are you looking at? Not just this week. Give me for this week and then give me moving forward. I, I think for this week you, you have to think that if you, if you have both of them, Probably McNichols is the, is the way to go. He's been there. Um, he's he's spotted uh, Henry when he's when he's been out of the lineup for you know either rest or little nicks. Um, he's he's the passing and third down back for sure. So he's got some PPR appeal. Uh, plays in a decent offense. So so there's some things there. I think they brought in. Adrian Peterson to be the between the tackle, still trying to be that power run team. It's very difficult to change who you are in week nine. And they found someone that, look, we can talk about his age. We can talk about he still he doesn't have the breakaway speed anymore. But we also have to talk about that this is a freak of nature type athlete who was productive Instead, mildly, he, mildly. If he can productive. average four yards a carry, he'll be productive and allow the Titans to still do the play action and and get AJ Brown and hopefully they get uh, Julio Jones back um, and, and, and work that game. Look, it's very rare you can find a guy that you think is going to get the ball fifteen plus times. Now he's not going to get it thirty times like. Like Henry was, but I think you can you can pencil in fifteen to twenty touches a week for Peterson. He'll be very touchdown dependent, but there's a lot of guys like that. You're still and you're going to look at McNichols as the third down JD McKissick type type guy. Now both of them should be owned everywhere. They should not be on waiver wires anymore. Um, and and you go from there. Uh, you know they gave him a workout. They brought him in. Again, he wasn't terrible last year. I'm not saying he's setting the world on fire, but um, we've doubted Peterson in the past, and and he, he you know, he's he's been per, he's been serviceable. Where do you, where do you have McNichols ranked this week? Uh, I, I probably have him. I think they're both flex worthy this week. Um, PPR, I have McNichols around thirty uh, half point PPR. I have them closer to 34 to 36 okay all right so they're, they're flex worthy this week i mean look we all want to see how it works um i just don't expect like you said he's been there for three days um you know we talk having, about we talk about football shape and yeah. things like that and he hasn't you know he wasn't really even in a training camp with anybody but he always keeps himself in shape so i'm not it's not going to take him long i just don't expect you know his the full 15 to 20 touches this week from peterson all right let's talk about the Aaron Rodgers situation do we have to let me do go ahead i'll I'll begin with if you're an Aaron Rodgers owner where are you going to i'm I'm assuming you're not playing jordan love i know you can yeah I mean, you can. I, I, I get it's I, the Kansas City defense. I, I, I Yeah, I mean, I, it's not like – I mean, I have Jordan Love somewhere around 16 to 17. So it's not like – you know, it's not like I'm filling in with some guy that – like Mike White, who worked out last week to be the ultimate fill-in. But you were never even going to rank him last week, you know, because he was filling in for somebody. Jordan Love, I mean, this is their top pick. I have him – I have him 17 right now. I have him just behind Taysom Hill. Should Taysom Hill be the quarterback in, in for the Saints this week? I I have him above Teddy Bridgewater. I have him above Matt Ryan. I have him above Justin Fields. Like this isn't automatic no based mm-hmm. on what's on your waiver wire. So you know I I look at some of the guys that are above him. 
um, that could be on the waiver wire. I mean, Tua could be on the waiver wire. Daniel Jones, Carson Wentz tonight possibly could be. Taysom Hill possibly could be. I don't know how your waivers went down, but those are some of the guys. I mean, but you don't have to go too far to find, to say, you know, it's a good matchup. We'll see what it is. He's been there all year. He's been, he's been the number two all year. Um, you know, if I was a if I was a Rogers owner, I'm really nervous right now for more than just this week. Mm, mm. You mean I'm I? Who knows if he's back in time for next week? Right. I mean, he has COVID. I, I you don't know how they're going to react. It's like I'm everybody's really? like he's going to be back in ten days because he's unvaccinated. Well, well, that's if he comes back with two negative tests. Right. So in ten days is literally next Saturday. Right? This has been a very Rocky relationship all through the off season. Yeah, but they're not. I, I hear you. Stop. I hear you. Stop. Okay. Just remember, I said it. No, because no. I, 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 I think there's a reasonable way of saying this, which is what happens while Jordan Love plays could dictate what the Packers do at the end of the year for well, sure. I, I, but I, and any world in which you think they're not going back to Aaron Rodgers when he's back is insane. Stop. I, I'm not saying Stop. that they're not going to go back to him when they're, he's back. I don't know if he wants to come back. That's what I'm saying. Say, he's just not. He's just not quit playing football. I think he. Is this a really weird bit that yeah, you're doing? I'm not right doing now. a bit. I'm just you're saying. I'm just saying. Everybody that's expected to come back next week or in two weeks, I just you need to have a contingency plan to go be without Aaron Rodgers for the next three weeks. That's all I'm telling you in fantasy football. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying you need to plan well, for okay, it. Okay, I you think you're just I, picking I'm up a, a guy I'm to all, start this week. I am all for the hey. There's no certainty that he can um, return from I'm, COVID. I'm just, you're doing a like a you're doing I'm a tinfoil hat thing. I'm just, where, no, I'm saying that th- this isn't a great relationship. If he's I understand if he's, that if he's upset and he's still upset. But he has and no he doesn't like how the team supported him through this. It, however, they've done it internally. But he has no leverage. It's it's yeah, he, he could just stop playing football. Right, but the notion that he's just going to stop playing football when he's not going to do that—that's that. nonsense. Okay. Okay. Come on, okay. man. Okay. Like, come have on. A plan. Well, come if he was going to stop, have have a plan. and yeah. I own him in three, four leagues, have a I, plan. I, I'm all for the idea have of like, you don't know when he's coming back from COVID. Have that's a plan. What, that. That I think is relevant. Have but doing a, a bit where he's not going to play football have is have a plan. Come on, man. have a plan. Come on. Okay. All right. Um, the uh, what does it mean for like Devonte Adams of the world? What does it mean for uh, everybody? I else? mean, it, what it means for Devonte Adams instead of uh, the number one or number two guys, probably number twelve or number thirteen on on your list this week. There's no world that if Devonte Adams isn't is healthy and on the field that you're not starting him. It makes me not like any other receiver that is there. It makes me like Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon a little bit more. Um, especially in the matchup that they have this week. Uh, if you look at how uh, they used uh, Jones and Dylan together last week, even though it was a reaction to Devontae Adams being out, I mean, if I'm looking at that tape, I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Okay. So I think it makes, uh, you know, Aaron Jones is always an RB1, but I think it puts uh, A.J. Dillon in the flex conversation. Um, as somebody that you can start if he's look, he's done nothing he, uh, last week he looked like okay I want to give this ball this this guy the ball 15 20 times and give Aaron Jones 10 and throw it to him 10 times so you know I think both of them are, are viable in fantasy this week today's uh, press box fantasy football show is also brought to you by glory days grill well, they've got six ninety nine burgers on Mondays, five ninety nine nachos on Thursdays. Dine in or order your favorites online at glorydaysgrill.com. Visit us at glorydaysgrill.com for a location near you. Glory Days Grill, great food, good sports. Um, Casey, some, some players that are sort of on the trajectory this week. How are we feeling about Christian McCaffrey? How are we feeling about George Kittle and, and some of these other guys that might be tracking towards being back? I mean, look, it's the same comment that McCaffrey every week. If he plays, you're playing him. Um, you can't play Hubbard if he plays. I, I would, you know, I try not to pay attention to what coaches say, um, but – uh, the, he said he didn't do much yesterday. We'll see what he does Friday. If he's practicing in full Friday, hey, he's going to go. And if he's in, if you have him, you got to play him. I mean, that, that's just been the history with McCaffrey. They're going to throw him the ball nine times and and make that whole thing work. Um, 
Kittle, uh, I, I want to see him practice. Um, well, he's practicing. They just don't list him on the report because he's not. He's not he hasn't active. been active, but he's so, practicing. So the last thing I saw was that he, they don't expect him to be 100%. Um, again, with the way tight end is, if you have Kittle and he's active, you sort of got to play him. Mm-hmm. Um, we have other issues with, with like Noah Fant. doesn't look like he's going to play because he's on the COVID list. So... You know, if he's there, you're playing him. Um, no, no qualms about it. So, you know, unfortunately, with the, with some of these top guys, it's it's where we are right now. It looks like we're going to have another Devonte Booker week in New York. Yeah, it looks like it looks like that's pretty safe. I mean, I I don't know if he was on the COVID list, not on the COVID list, uh, false positives, all all things with Barkley. But even so, you know, they haven't really had him practice or or said he's ready to practice so uh, i think you get another booker week and it's probably the last one and who's the guy in in philadelphia to run the football I, I mean i think it's boston scott and and you know i think uh game script dictated the jordan howard stuff uh we know who it's not now it's not kind of uh, game though well, glad, uh, glad i used glad a priority yeah, picked up on him glad i started him last week um you know, it, it was funny because I think it was on this show. Somebody was like giving me that choice game well, and I was like, "Look, I mean, he's got to be owned, and yeah, he's supposed to get the ball, but they didn't give Sanders the ball. So what makes me feel like they're going to give Gainwell the ball? Except I, that by the way, am I dropping him to get my defense this week? Uh, I, I mean, I don't have a problem with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I think so. I mean, there are, there are a bunch of guys I don't. You know, you can. Somebody asked me this week. It's like. What am I doing with Allen Robinson? I said, whatever you feel you should do at this point. I said, if you're going to drop, if you say you want to drop him because you need to fill the spot, I'm not going to give you an argument mm-hmm. because I really like the talent, but it's just not happening. Yep. Um, so I, I, we're, we're nine weeks in. Well, with that in mind, <laughs> let's have the Odell Beckham conversation. Uh, he's done. You can cut him. He's Wait. not going to play for the Browns, and they don't seem like unless. Unless Odell decides to take pennies on the dollar as a buyout, they're just going to let him rot this year. I'm not as convinced that he doesn't just get released. I'm not as convinced. I, that I, 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 maybe at some point, but they're they're like banning him from the building. So I hear you. It's like it's like the 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 report from the the one. Um, and and I forget I forget the name uh, the Browns insider Browns reporter. It's like they're trying to work out a release scenario where you know it takes he takes less money he takes a, a, a smaller buyout. Now could that happen? Sure. Um, we're not getting uh, you know this is, this is the Josh Gordon thing for me and it's a different sen- scenario. But we're not get, uh, what I always said every time Josh Gordon came back is like you're not getting the 2013. Well, I understand Gordon. that. Well, we're not getting the 2017, I, 18. I, I agree. Odell Beckham Jr. Injuries have taken their toll. He's still not healthy right now. He's got a shoulder issue that every time he lands, he has to get step out of the out of the game for a couple of plays or a series. Uh, you know. But, but I still think if he wound up in New Orleans, he'd be worth being on your roster. Yeah, but I, again, I, I'm not. If you have the spot and you're and you don't need it with all the bye weeks and all the injuries and all the covids, and you can put him at the bottom of your bench, sure. But if you need that spot, I don't have a problem with releasing him at this point. All right, all right. Uh, it is the Press Box Fantasy Football Show. We will get to your questions next. So get them in at Glenn Clark Radio on Twitter or put them right there in the comments on the video and we will pose them to KZ as we try to set your lineups for week nine of the fantasy football season. That's next, Press Box Fantasy Football Show. Need to hone your computer skills to boost your career? Or maybe you want an IT certification. CCBC Continuing Education has the courses and programs you need for a career in the computer field. And it's all tuition free. From the basics to specialized training, we have the classes you need from hardware to programming to cybersecurity and so much more. It's your choice. It's your career. Call 443-840-4700 or visit ccbcmd.edu slash computer training. Come in for Glory Burgers, Glory Wings. There's glory for everyone at Glory Days Grill. Enjoy their award-winning burgers, ribs, and wings. Or try our fresh salads, hand-cut salmon, or our scrumptious sandwiches. Yum! Come in for our daily specials every weekday, like $6.99 burgers on Mondays and $5.99 nachos on Thursdays. And watch football on their big screens every Monday, Thursday, and Sunday. Dine in and let us serve you or order online at Glory Days Grill. 
glorydaysgrill.com and take it home. Visit us at glorydaysgrill.com for a location near you. Glory Days Grill, great food, good sports. If you change lanes and brake suddenly in front of my tractor trailer, I won't be able to stop. Our lives can change forever. Trucks need room to stop. Don't cut it close. Brought to you by the Maryland Department of Transportation State Highway Administration. What's up, everybody? This is Tyus Bowser. I can't wait to see you guys for the Tyus Bowser Show this fall. We're going to be taking the show on the road all over the area. You can meet me and my very special guests. If you can't make it out, you can watch the show on live on Pressbox Facebook page or listen the next day. Find out more about where we'll be by checking out pressboxonline.com slash Bowser. We'll see you all season long for the Tyus Bowser Show. The next Tyus Bowser Show is Tuesday, November 6th. 16th at Mother's in Timonium. It's brought to you by Pressbox and Great Eights Memorabilia. The all-new FanDuel Sportsbook is coming soon to Live Casino and Hotel in Hanover. Maryland, this is your chance to win big right in your own backyard. Bet on every sport with self-service kiosks and watch all the action from the best seat in the house. Make every moment more at the all-new FanDuel Sportsbook at Live Casino and Hotel in Hanover. Please play responsibly. Gambling problem? Please call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit mdgamblinghelp.org. All right, it's time to set your lineups for Week 9 on the Pressbox Fantasy Football Show with Ken. Zalis, KZ, we always begin with me because I'm very, I'm a very important person. You Everybody are. knows that I'm a very important person. Um, I, I, so this group of running backs, and I, I you're gonna, I know you're gonna, we got we just have to talk about James Robinson. Is we the do, problem. we do. So James Robinson, Khalil Herbert, Devonte Booker. I definitely have to start, and Javante Williams. I definitely have to start one. I probably gonna end up starting two, but let's start with one for now. So. No, hell, I'm starting two of them. I'm not, there's no way I'm starting two of them. I mean, one, one's Booker for sure. I mean, just a volume play. The, you know, the, Vegas has been sneaky good on defense, but it's still a volume play. Um, I mean, Herbert, as long as – I mean, I don't think we get Montgomery this week at all, but there's – like he's eligible to come off. They haven't announced anything. He's not practicing. So it's, her, it, 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 it's those two. I don't, I don't expect James Robinson to play. Um, it would surprise me if he did, uh, and if he does, he's going against Buffalo. Uh, it's not a great matchup with a guy that's already a little bit banged up, and so just for our just kicks, I have Herbert sixteenth right now. I have Robinson eighteenth, but I have Devonte Booker nineteenth. So because they're so close, like they're, uh, I'd rather go with the guy I know is going to make it through a game. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I'm not convinced that Robinson will. Um, it's a essentially, f- it, it's not an ankle. It's a it's a heel. It's a bone bruise on the heel. So uh, those sometimes take weeks if you listen to people to know about those things. Um, possible they put some type of pad there to lessen the blow but uh, but it's like it's still he's got to play it's, it's how much pain management is it going to take to to get him in there but we'll see friday's a big deal i mean again practices in full you feel better about it but they're going to be so close for me i'd rather go with booker okay um i i am in a I'm, I'm assuming there's no way I'm playing Marquez Callaway over Hunter Renfro. No. Yeah, I, just, I figured that was the case. No, not this week. So my only other issue here is uh, I was I was a guy that was holding Michael Thomas uh, and hoping. I mean, I was on my oh, R, me too. In my me R too. spot. Me and it's, too. it's annoying. It's what it is. It's a bummer that it didn't work out, but we always knew that yep, there was a chance a, that was going to be the case. That was the risk that you were taking. It was a risk that was worth taking if you had an IR spot. Right. So. Um, Miles Sanders is sitting out there on waivers now. Somebody went ahead and released him this week. I assume it's not worth me putting a claim in for Miles Sanders that I I wait and see if he clears waivers. Yeah, if he and clears then. waivers, pick him up. Okay, yeah. But it's we're, not... We're, no, I... He's frustrated because we all love the talent, except Philadelphia doesn't seem to. Um, they didn't. They wouldn't give him the ball. So, I, I no. I, I mean, no. It's not worth putting in a claim for um, unless it's a, fr- a free claim. Um, no, I'm, 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 I've got the fifth. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, the fifth, yeah. You can put in a claim. For the fifth, really? Yeah, I mean, who? who, who, who in the back of the line? Who, yeah, who would ever? Over Miles Sanders, yeah, really? I mean, you know, he could be a starting running back for down the stretch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just, mean, if it's one, two, or three, yeah, I'll probably wait because, like, so I give it the example. Yeah, the only thing I say, say, I think that the, the couple of the people at the top of the waiver order in our league are guys that just don't put waiver claims in. No, then you can take the risk and do it. I mean, I, I, 
this is the thing. I look at I look at last week. It's like okay, if you weren't one, two, or three on mm-hmm. the waiver list, I mean, you didn't get the guy you wanted. You didn't you didn't get Peterson. You didn't get McNichols. You didn't get Gore. So it's like. I, being fifth is great, but who are you picking up at the fifth? Is Gore really a thing, by the way? I mean, like, got, I, apparently, I mean, who do you have him ranked? Uh, I think I probably have him ranked over Williams, to be honest. Man, I, be, I buy, I buy that. I just um, where's Mister Gore right now? Mister Gore is thirty fourth. He's flex worthy. Wow. wow. I, look, he plays in a, in an offense where he got he got a bunch of touches. Look good. Look look quicker than Williams. Um. You know, uh, it's funny because you didn't, you know, because we're not, we don't have the access that the TV guys do. Go, I mean, he was on everybody's waiver wire. Nobody, oh, nobody even knew he really was on yes. the roster, and everybody thought he was Gore, uh, Frank Gore's son. When right. the name came, right. like, it's not Frank, it's relax. Yeah. But, but look, I mean, they, they said when they talked to coaches in those meetings that they do for the broadcast the day before, they kept on saying how how much they really like this kid and how he's earned some touches now that he's been there a little while and 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 and, uh, and has the offense down. Well, that turned out to be true, um, and he was the best running back on the field. I hear you. He's uh, for the Kansas City Chiefs. So yeah, mm-hmm. sometimes these things take time, and you just need an opportunity. Kid got an opportunity, played well. He's earned himself at least another week. All right, all right. I'm still, I'm still nervous about the Miles Sanders. Like they weren't using him when he I was. I know, but maybe they figured out that they have to run the ball because <sighs> they certainly look. It was, it was, it was Hurts' worst fantasy game of the entire season because they figured out I could just hand this ball off, and you know they handed it to Scott, they handed it to to Howard, who just. Yeah, it is like one of the most annoying yep. fantasy football players. Yep, he always, he always he always history. seems. It's like I don't even, I don't know how old he is. No. I don't know I don't know where he came from to be on Philadelphia. And it's like, but every time it's like, why, yep. why, why? He just becomes a thing again. Uh, quickly before I, I let Paul jump in, uh, give me some uh, some notes about underdog fantasy football. Underdog fantasy football, uh, you could uh, head there right now. The best part about uh, you know, if you haven't joined yet, is that uh, we will match uh, press from your friends at Pressbox. We'll match dollar for dollar up to a hundred dollars on your first deposit, and you can play all kinds of games. You can play weekly games um, where you you do a draft against other people, and and if you draft the best team, score the most points, you win some money. Um, there are there are head to head games, and then there are things like the 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 player props where you choose two to five player props, and you can win up to twenty times your money uh, over. Uh, rivals, uh, who's going to get more rush yards, uh, Gore or Williams for Kansas City this week. You can make that as one of your selections. Um, and not only the NFL, but uh, NBA, uh, you know, NHL, soccer, uh, not in Maryland, but in other places you can do college football uh, through underdog. So, I mean... That's the bummer in Maryland, but that is it's such a weird. It's such a weird I thing, know. right? I know, I know. Well, we don't want to bet on no, those I, things. No, I don't want to. I know. Yep. Anyway, uh, but it's a lot of fun, and uh, like I said, go there right now, sign up, put in the code PressBox, and uh, if you deposit a hundred dollars, you'll get a hundred dollars from PressBox. All right, go ahead, Paul. All right, so in the league, I'm in first place, and I had Aaron Rodgers as my quarterback. Am I starting Jordan Love or am I starting Mike White? Oh, I'm I'm going Jordan Love there. Jordan Love. Uh, I mean, I I get the Mike. I don't know how you're not respecting the greatest quarterback in the history of quarterbacks. I, I get it. It was a lot of fun last week. The one dude uh, made one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> yep. Uh, saying he was going to lead the league in passing as a joke. Um, that's fine. But they believe so much in Mac in Mike White that they went out and traded for Joe Flacco. But so, that was before so, they knew that Mike White so, was the greatest quarterback so, in the history of quarterbacks. So I'm gonna go. I, I'm I'm. I'm going to go Jordan Love in in the better matchup. It, same team, James Robinson. Is he going to play this week? Uh, we, just, we just talked about that. that. You got uh, no. to listen. Yeah, uh, no, uh, he, uh, yeah. I don't. Th- I don't. I, I I don't think he does. If he does, he's not at 100. percent I'm not, you know, fan president of the fan club, but I'm not 100 percent in. More so, I was just asking if I should start him. Well, well who are your options? Who are your options? Um, I have well. I'm definitely starting Ezekiel Elliott. I have Damian Williams. I have um. Hmm. I have. I'm not. Don't have that one pull up right now. I, my apologies. Um. Well, I, I I'll say this. If he start, if he plays, you're probably playing him over Damian Williams because we're in a timeshare. 
type thing now. Um, uh, and he's not getting he's not getting even the the half of it right now with Herbert. So um, you know, if those are your choices, yeah, you probably go go in that direction. Um, I'd have somebody available if he doesn't. I don't know if Hyde's out there who isn't practicing either. Um, they press, by the way, just because I liked his game in college. Ozigbo is now back with them. Um, if both Hyde and James Robinson um, are still out, uh, Divine Ozigbo is a guy. Not a great matchup. People are desperate. You can throw in there. So. And for the record, I am listening. I just managed to miss that part about but, uh, James uh, Robinson. Uh, don't just we just got okay. we just got okay. we just got to hit you for it. From from <laughs> Nick Kelly. Nick Kelly wants to know Miles Gaskin or Chase Edmonds. Ooh, that's a good one because that's close. I don't even have. I I, I it's a, not the best matchup. I mean, the, when I say it's close, I mean it's twenty to twenty two for me. I have slightly Edmonds here. If it's a straight PPR, it's Gaskin. If it's a half PPR, it's Edmonds. How's that? If it's a, it's a, so you say slight P- what Ed- If it's a full PPR, full PPR. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, right. If it's a full PPR, yeah, then it's it's Gaskin. Gaskin. Half, half PPR, PPR Edmonds. 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 All right, very good. Thank you. And standard, I guess, would also be Edmonds yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. All right, there we go. May I ask another question? Yes. Latavius Murray is he going to play, and is he worth even a, a flex spot? Uh, if he plays, he is worth a flex spot. Uh, my crystal ball is a little acting up with the running game for the for the Baltimore <laughs> Ravens. So, um, but if he starts, if he is active, um, yes, he's worthy of a flex spot. Does he play? I, I want to see Friday's practice. Um, he hasn't practiced yet, so it's it's tough to determine. And how about Julio Jones? Julio Jones will play. Will play. Okay. From uh, uh, from Dave. Dave wants to know if James Robinson plays. Is he playing him over McNichols? Oh, if he makes it through a full practice on Friday, yes. I, I mean that's the only way we can do it. Uh, Mc McDickles again. He could. He could. It's a. It's a. It's a tough. It's a tough one with Peterson because we really don't know. We don't expect Peterson to touch it fifteen times. But what if he does? Then we're looking at five, six touches from McNichols, and we really don't want to go in that direction. But. Um, Watch Friday's uh, thing again. I have I have Robinson at 18, knowing that, and that's if he's a full go. Uh, I have McNichols at 32, knowing he's a full go. So that's the discrepancy that I have. Start two of these three from Ryan Sutton, Landry, and Jerry Judy. Uh, Sutton and Landry. Okay, Sutton, Landry, and all right. Thank you. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to You're keep okay. up. I'm You're trying good. to keep You're up. Good. I'm trying to keep up with everything that's coming in at the same time. By the way, the Press Box Fantasy Football Show also brought to you by CCBC. Need to hone your computer skills to boost your career, or maybe you want an IT certification. CCBC Continuing Education has the courses and programs you need for a career in the computer field, and it's all tuition free, from the basics to specialized training. We have the classes you need, from hardware to programming to cybersecurity, and so much more it's your choice it's your career call 443-840-4700 or visit ccbcmd.edu slash computer training um robert robert wants to know if he's i mean okay robert wants to know if he's still playing ryan Tannehill or if that's impacted and he goes the waiver wire i would think that ryan Tannehill would be more valuable wouldn't he I would think, you know, it's funny. I saw him dropped in a lot of leagues. It's a weird move. It's, it really is. And there's one that I like. I'm just waiting for waivers to be over so I can go and grab him. Um, I mean, I I like Tannehill. I mean, I I, I think he's just borderline RB one this week. I mean, QB one, uh, QB one, somewhere between twelve and fourteen, depending on what your feelings are of Daniel Jones and, and Carson Wentz. He's in that grouping for me um you know it's not it's not a great matchup this week but they may have to throw the ball and and you can't run anyway that well against the rams um i i i think you can start them with confidence i, mean, I, I don't I, see 
I don't I don't I don't know why anybody would be dropping him. Yeah, that's nuts to me. Like like that's if anything you you think you gotta throw the ball a little that, bit more. That would be my thought. That would be my that thought. That's my first thought, but I, I saw people dropping him this week. Uh uh Aaron is in tight end hell with uh, Ricky Seals Jones on a bye and the injuries he already had. Does he play CJ Uzoma or Johnny Smith? Well it's CJ Uzoma out of those. Um, the tight end name to know mm. this week mm. is Albert O. All right, he's uh, back. Uh, who is back for Denver. Um, caught a couple of passes last week once uh, Mr. Font uh, went out of the game. Uh, uh, Mr. Font doesn't appear to be playing this week um, on the COVID list. So he's a name that if you are in tight end hell, I think I have him in my top 14, Dan Arnold. Uh, who was on by last week is another name. You saying you're playing them over Uzoma? Uh, no, I'm. I'm, oh, okay. I'm just saying as we're bringing up tight ends. All I'm right. just saying I have. Here's what I have: twelve Ozoma, mm-hmm. thirteen Dan Arnold, fourteen Albert O. Okay, so, all right. So those are, basically, those are, right there. Those are the guys that you're streaming this week if you are in tight end hell. Nico Hardman, Allen Robinson, or AJ Dillon needs a flex. AJ Dillon, let's go. You're on the AJ Dillon. I, am. This I week. love the way they used him last week. I, I see no reason, especially with uh, Aaron Rodgers out. I just that, pick, I just picked up Albert in our sleeper league because you said that. Okay. And just went and got him. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, I mean, he caught three, four balls in a half a game. <sighs> but he's only a play if if um, Fant doesn't. Yeah, play. if Fant doesn't play, but right. I, I don't I don't think there's a way that Fant can play. Yeah, I mean I, I hear you. I, I completely hear you. All right, anything else that we need to know for this week? <sighs> Uh, you know we got we gotta still you know keep our eye on a, a couple of guys that are that are hurt. Like I said, the Montgomery thing, I don't think he comes back. But just for your for the Herbert owners, just keep an eye on him. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, keep an eye on um on uh on on uh, McCaffrey as well. And then uh, you know, just remember that uh, that uh, we didn't talk about him. It happened after our show but uh calvin ridley is still out dealing with By the way, espn fix it so you can put calvin ridley on ir fix that yeah. that's that this is a really bad bit man it's a really bad bit fix it calvin ridley needs to be able to go on so ir Tajay sharp looked like the guy and i don't know maybe maybe you can i don't know if you can put calvin ridley on ir i don't know if you can but but just just know he's still out and that doesn't look like a situation it looks like you can put him on ir on yahoo i'm in espn fix that i know in sleeper you can yeah fix it Calvin Ridley, this is mental health is health. Yes, that's yeah. He's had he, get it get it together. Make it so that you can put Calvin Ridley on IR, man. That's that seems like a scary um, and like thing. I said, Julio Jones looks like he did practice yesterday, so it looks like he'll be back. All right, very good. At Fans Fantasy on Twitter is how you follow him. If you didn't get your questions in, you can post it to him there. He particularly likes them when they come at three in the morning. That's what he wants I you do. to do and start blowing up his phone to get your questions in. Appreciate it, pal. We will see you next Thursday. You will. We will be back tomorrow morning for the next GCR. This has been the Press Box Fantasy Football Show.